ready for another card trick. A little bit different than the uh, previous ones. Um, there we go. Just going to get rid of the card case for the moment. And I'm going to have you choose a card. Uh, I'll just go through the... Well, first of all, just, just touch any card you like as it flies by. Yeah, that one. Okay, and just remember the card. Mm -hmm. Got it? Uh, do you think you can remember two cards? I'll have a go. Okay. So we'll just touch the back of any card you like. Um, that one, please. Well, no, just remember that card as well. Mm -hmm. so you've got two cards in mind, yeah? Yeah. Right, I'm going to try and find both cards. So I'll give the cards a bit of a cut. And the cards are obviously in there somewhere. Now, to find the first card, it's really easy. All I have to do is square the cards up like this, get some static on my fingers. And if I transfer that static down through the cards, uh, it'll locate your card. Something's happening, as you can see. And it's found one of the cards, <laughs> I think, because the static is moving the cards away. Uh, with a bit of luck. Yeah, that's great. That should be, that's one of the cards. That was it? one of the Seven cards. Diamonds, that's good. So all I'm going to do is mix these cards up a little bit. So obviously the card could be anywhere. It's fairly important that it's not too near the top. So is it um, it's not near the top? No, it's not. No, no. Or, or near the bottom. It's got to be somewhere no. in, the, in the middle. So I'll square the cards up again. And again, I'm going to get some static on my fingers. I have a bit of luck if I snap my fingers into this. Card jumps out. That's the second one. That was. 